buzz on the street is It's Maintenance Monday. Join us today as we show you how to install insect vent covers. It must be Maintenance Monday. Woo! Let's get to work. On today's Maintenance Monday, we're going to talk about and show you how to install insect covers for your venting system, such as your refrigerator, your furnace, and your water heater. Bees and wasps are a nuisance when they get into the nooks and crannies of your RV. There are two main ways to keep these critters out. First, always keep the seals lubricated around your slide out so the rubber stays flexible and fills the space between the slide out and the RV walls. Fill any other holes you may find with spray foam or specially formulated RV sealants. Today we're going to show you how to prevent these flying pests from entering the vent openings that need to have air circulation for venting, such as your refrigerator, your furnace, water heater, etc. We're going to use insect screens made out of a stainless steel material. These screens have small holes in them to keep the bees and wasps out but still allow for air circulation. I just got these off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. If you're gonna be installing these yourself, you wanna make sure the fasteners you use are also heat resistant, since many of these areas circulate hot air. Mine came with stainless steel fasteners, so I don't have to worry about that. Bees love the smell of propane, and RV appliances emit just enough smell to lure them in. So you're gonna wanna inspect all your gas appliances regularly, especially if you're recently pulling your rig out of storage. Remove any hives you find immediately because that paper material they're made up of can be a fire hazard and cause damage to your appliances by limiting or clogging airflow. We've already had a few small hives built around our camper this season. Luckily, they were all on the exterior of the camper, easily to get to and access, and they were removed before they got too big. But we have had a worrisome noise within our camper. I have been hearing a small buzzing sound, which sounds like a singular wasp within our wall, I guess you could call it, behind our freezer and above our dinette table. It lasted about two days and then it kind of disappeared. So I don't think there's any hives in there, but I'm gonna check today before I screen everything in to make sure we have no hives because I don't wanna trap any pests within our walls. All right guys, come with me outside as I go install these insect vents over all of our exhaust openings. We got ours on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below, but make sure you measure the air you need to screen in because all RVs are slightly different sizes and you're gonna wanna make sure you get the right size for your rig. Out here in South Florida, mud daubers are the main culprit building nests. They're the worst. So depending on where you're at, you'll get different hives and nests built around your camper. Today I'm gonna do a quick inspection and then I'll show you how we're gonna install all these vents. Okay, so first up we have our vents that came together as a double package for our water heater exhaust and our furnace exhaust. So we're gonna install those first. So they came with these little fasteners here and two fastener tools. So let's go over and put these ones on. So they're gonna cover all the holes like this to allow airflow to come in and out, but the bugs, the large bugs, the wasp bees, the flying insects will not be able to get in there and build a nest. Secondly, we got these Camco screens also off Amazon for our refrigerator exhaust. They look like that. They're a package of three. They're just called flying insect screens. And we're gonna put those in the slots. We have two exhausts, so I got two separate packages for six different rows. And I'll show you how to put those ones on. It looks like these ones just come with zip ties as your fasteners and uh, our exhaust was kind of a in-between size so I went a little bit bigger because we can always cut these down a little bit so they fit in there better because we don't want any holes on the curved part where uh, insects can still get in there. We'll see how well that works when we actually go to put them on. So as you can see here the spring has one open end and one end with the crossbar and string across it, spring across it. And then our applicator tool here has a notch in it that we're gonna use on 
that crossbar. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick our spring in this way with the crossbar towards the RV and the open end towards our insect screen. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our spring and we're going to hook it through the screen where we want it with the open end towards the screen and the bar end towards our RV and then we're going to take this applicator tool and we're going to work it through the hole, one of the screen holes, and through the end of the spring. And we're going to try and hook that notch on that crossbar of the spring like that. I don't know if you can see that. And then we're going to use that to push up against, to hook it through the onto the RV heater vent. Just like that. Let's see if I can get you a close up. We're gonna put one more on. They only gave us four, so we're gonna use two, two for each screen. Now, some of these screens will come with a gasket you could put so they don't rub as you drive. Um, you can also take them off as you don't need them. We'll probably take ours off. So we don't need the gasket. We're only using them here in Florida. We've never had a problem before. So again, I'm gonna put the open side out, the side with the bar in. I put my applicator tool onto that little bar. I'm gonna push in and twist to grab and hook that on there and then pull out to release. So it's very, very simple. That's a snug fit. No bees or wasps are gonna get in there. So we're gonna come on down to the heater exhaust. Okay, now we're gonna follow the same process. These ones also come in a round shape. We opted for square because we have these little holes right there. So ours is gonna look like that. Same process. We're gonna hook the open end on the outside. It's gonna go a little more in to the middle because that's where our hooking area will be, right in here. I'm gonna put them both on because it's a little tighter to get in in there afterwards. Whoop, the bee right there. Getting these on just in time. Okay, I'm just gonna let that one dangle there. Get it in that little notch. Center this here a little bit. It's gonna be a little more difficult because they're a little smaller holes. Kind of just pushing in and twisting a little bit. I can see where I need to hook it. And you can see why you want these to be heat resistant because there's a lot of hot air that blows out here. There we go. Nice tight fit. Now we will move on to our fridge vents. Now I do want to show you our propane tank it does have these holes here which I didn't think about when I was buying the screen. So we might buy another screen for that because those are big enough for bees to get into. I have checked in there and we do not currently have any wasps or bees living in there, but that would be the first area to go to since that's where the smell of propane comes from the most. All right, let's check out these fridge vents. They're gonna look like that on the outside and we're just gonna unlock them. These just unscrew and it pops out. You can use a screwdriver. And that just pops down. So our refrigerator exhaust package came with three little screens and a package of zip ties. And we're gonna put these on the outside simply because if we were to put them on the inside, you'll see there's still a hole for these bees to get into, right there. So we're gonna put it on the outside, which is probably where it's intended to go, but there's no directions with these. So we're gonna stick them in there and zip tie them on. Now I'm gonna put the smooth side out so no one gets caught on there. These are slightly big, like I said, so we'll probably trim them down just a hair or bend them. 
because I don't want any bees to get in the corners there, so I want them snug up against the edge. And we just have two of these to do, so we'll go ahead and do that now. And then with these, you're just gonna stick the zip tie. I'm gonna go from the inside out because I don't want the part, the tail sticking out when I'm done. I want it to look nice and neat. And you're just gonna go around one of the plastic things and put it through the other side. Attach them on there, nice and snug. Cut the tail off or not, that's up to you. These fasteners aren't really heat resistant, but our fridge doesn't put off that much heat. Getting eaten by bugs out here. And we'll just do that again. And we're just looping it through and hooking it on. And again, I think we are gonna shorten up the edges on ours so they can sit flush because there's still a little hole there for the bees to get into. But for now, that will work until Nick can trim these for me. And we would just put them on all of the coverings, top and bottom, and I'd reattach that to our fridge exhaust. And we will be bee and wasp free. So it'll just look like that when you're done. You can see it's no longer an opening like it was before. But what I want to show you guys is actually where we had nests being built because none of those places are where they were being built. So um, I knocked them down so they're no longer there, but um, you want to remove them immediately. So I had one underneath the slide because we're off the truck right now. So under the slide, it's being built up here in the corner. You can still see there's some remnants. I didn't clean it. I just sprayed them with some dish soap and they uh, fly away. It doesn't seem to kill them, but they leave peacefully when it's a small nest. I've not been stung using that technique. Um, I try to do it a little later in the evening when they're less active. And uh, it could be due to the smell here or our propane tank, which is right up above. They probably are drawn to that. Under our slide, I've caught a few of them around here. They haven't built a nest, but we have these foam pads so they don't hit our head on the corner of the slide, and they've been in there a few times checking it out. Just today, I've been seeing a few wasps flying around our awning, so um, we're gonna take a peek up there and check that out and see. I know it's a, ooh, there's one right there. There's a, a, a hole up there on each end, and they like to nest up there. I removed some, I don't know, four or five months ago from the similar area, so I think they're back up there again. So we're gonna remove them again. We'll have to figure out some way to keep them out of there. Here on the corner of our awning, whoop, there's actually some in there now, so I'm gonna need to take care of that, but I don't think they have screens for this area, but maybe we could fill it in with something because um, they're in their building right now. So let me show you, see if we can get in there and see. It's the corner of our awning. I don't know if you can see them in there now. Some yellow wasps. In there, so I'll probably give it a good squirt with some dish soap. You can use some bug repellent. Whatever you're choosing is, I like to give them a chance to leave and find a new home peacefully as possible. So I recommend checking that if your awning's out a lot. Our awning's been out for four or five months now without movement. And I'm sure that's why they made a home there. So I'm gonna keep checking around in some of the nooks and crannies, the unlikely places for them to set up camp. And uh, good luck with your bees and wasps. I hope you enjoyed today's Maintenance Monday. If you did, go ahead, give us a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And we'll see you on Tuesdays for our Travel Tuesdays. Do your research, do your homework, make sure you're doing it right yourself. Hey, let me tell you about Travel Tuesdays. If you enjoyed this stuff, Tuesdays, every single week, we release a video of all the wonderful places that we go. So check them out. They're right here. Yeah, right there. Over there. It, it somewhere around here that that's the one <laughs>